Well, hello there, YouTube. Did you guys hear that crazy sound behind me? Do you hear that rumble? This is a 2018 Chieftain Dark Horse with a Stage 3 116 cubic inch kit on it. This is a, a store demo. Man, the best thing Indian ever did was to put that 19 inch front wheel with that fender. For me personally, that just took these things to a whole nother level of cool. All the chrome that's up here is all blacked out. This thing's just, you know, just those little chrome accents, you know, like Harley did with their uh, denim black street glides and the irons and stuff like that. It's just enough little chrome pieces there to not just, you know, kind of mute all the colors and everything. But I've been on it a mile or two or whatever from it is from the shop to here. But, uh, <laughs> that quick it's really impressive so the last one of these I rode with the uh, infotainment or whatever I, there's uh, terminology Indian uses for these uh, I'm, I know infotainment is not it but that's a Harley term but anyway I uh, had it in super view and this thing just looks like it's in your face I think it was a uh, roadmaster I rode so I put the camera in wide view in hopes that it doesn't get that fisheye effect this is not in your face like that one review I did last year so uh, take that in mind when you're sitting on it if wide view is still making it look that way it's not that way at all when you're on it but gumption this thing has got power and torque with uh, with bells attached it runs really really good I need to find a happy medium this is my old ratty shop helmet so uh she makes all kinds of racket. This thing is cool. And there's nothing like a flat black motorcycle that makes my heart go pitter patter. I do not know why. But... Man, if you, could... <laughs> if you could only feel the torque out of this thing, it is impressive. See if we can quiet things down just a just a scotch here. Sorry if that shield's blocking your view. Oh man. You don't know how many times I've come out to ride this thing. And uh looks like the roads are just drying up. I was like, alright, I'm gonna get to go for a ride. Man, turn around, pouring down rain. Crying shame. But the time has come. I've uh, I've discussed this thing a whole bunch and walked past it, drooled on it and everything else on the on the daily vlog, the smokes vlog. Uh, so those guys, uh, I, I'm kind of doing a, a dual video thing here as I usually do. Little, little moto vlog, little daily vlog. But I do need to give the daily vlog some love because they're the ones that's been anticipating this the most. But for now, we're going to take you guys for a little rip. Get somewhere where we can... Uh, get a feel for it here a little bit oh these things are nice and man with that 116 kit that just sweetens the pot man for me this would just it would absolutely have to have it that would just be in the purchase that would go along with it I love how it loafs The cams have the craziest long duration. I haven't seen that in a modern motorcycle in a long time. It's pretty wild looking. You know, fuel injection, they're usually very, very short and sharp. Oh, that feels good. That feels really good. And you know, sport bike guys and stuff like that, you know, this is a different world. This is just like that tractor pull torque. It's that kind of a Harley feeling. It's not, you're not gonna go blistering down the road at 200 miles an hour. It's all about this roll on, just like pull you back torque. So uh, I'm not even gonna attempt to try to compare it to anything like that. 
how a Milwaukee 8 does with a you know a stage 4 kit you know a CVO or something like that I have no idea I've never ridden one of those the Milwaukee 8s I've ridden have well it's been mine and uh, she's got the boodles of power but uh, I would say obviously this thing's uh, it's got an edge on her it sure feels like it but I in all fairness I haven't ridden one of those I'll, I'll be honest so uh, I don't know and I don't in the numbers of stuff like you see torque numbers horsepower numbers that doesn't that doesn't mean anything it's just a number I, I'm telling you 90% of the time that doesn't translate to anything you actually feel because one bike can have like inferior numbers but literally be better performing in every way probably be in trouble with this thing faster than you can shake a stick at it because you would just be in it all the time it is fun that sounds so good I love it when you're at low speed and it's just whoa, 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 whoa. And when you start it up and it's cold oh man it sounds like a like a, a pissed off dragster or something you know some big old v8 and something it's just oh, 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 oh. <laughs> i love it <laughs> it's a little rough down low and i like it god i'm telling you you feather the clutch on this thing and it's going skyward she's going straight up out on you guys right quick and uh give the daily vlog some love so uh i'll be right back all right it's official i think i'm just gonna go home and leave kelly behind she can fend for herself and get that honda back however she wants <laughs> oh man i just don't want to get off of this thing that sound of this thing is coming across I need to get the same mics I have in my uh, I just need to get another helmet and then I'm going to use my current vlogging helmet as my uh, shop helmet less bottom end than what they had but uh, that's all right once you get around 225 2 to 2500 somewhere in there yeah around two definitely 25 it's like hello mama look at this just doesn't get any nicer than this getting out here and Playing around on a high horsepower cruiser. <laughs> this thing is something else. But anyway, there's a. There, yeah, I love that stubbornness it has on the bottom end. That's just wonderful. A little wook, wook. Say, yeah, buddy. Hold on there, old gal. <laughs> just feels like she's a thoroughbred and she's just wanting to cut loose. Quit, quit going slow on me. I don't like it me out in the open field somewhere and let me fly. Man, I wish there's a way I could translate the sensation of torque. Just this crazy booming torque. Alright. It's funny how your eyes are just going whoa, 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 whoa. I see so many people run through them red lights even after it's long since been i mean it's long since been green for us all of a sudden boom a car will fly by it's crazy and then you gotta watch these parking lots just like that in all fairness they can't see around the big ford sitting there well anyway i want to appreciate you guys for uh coming along whoa whoa there's another one 
come along for a little impromptu ride on the uh, 2018 Chieftain Dark Horse with a Stage 3 kit. It's a uh, intake exhaust. Well, the Stage 3 kit is is uh, the cams and the big bore kit, but you have to uh, you have to accompany it with the uh, with an airbox and exhaust. And don't be messing around with no third party exhaust. This thing is all tuned for this bike by the Indian exhaust, by the Indian airbox. It's kind of like the Harleys. If you want it to run good and run legal. You got to go with this and people go oh well you get aftermarket it's cheaper but okay so what does a you know five hundred dollar tuner cost you that you're never going to get tuned as well as just having the dealer flash it while he's putting it on it's just always just always works better that way and you know if you're in a carb state or something it's all legal but anyway I don't want to get into any kind of rant about that stuff. That's not what we're here to do. We're here to ride this wonderful motorcycle. So uh, thank you guys very much for coming along for the little rip. And uh, we'll chit-chat with you later. Thank you guys very, very much.